Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Ark Survival, the new Genesis Part 1 DLC. So the first thing that you need to make sure is remove your game mode setting on your window. So make sure that game mode is at off, game bar is at off, and all those capture background recording and recorded audio at off, really important. Second thing that you need to do is click properties over there, set launch option. And make sure that you put this comment, it will be in my video description. I for using, uh, that you make sure that everything is, the game is priority at I. And make sure that you use all available core on your CPU. Don't use the SM41 and the DX101 because right now uh, you have like different launch options when you launch the game. So you don't need those. So double click on this. So a couple of options that can be important for you guys direct extend low end graphic if you have like a really old computer laptop integrate video card this one can be good for you honestly you will gain a lot of fps but the image quality will not be that great the other one that you can use is if you have like something like less than like 12 gig of ram or even just less than 16 gig of ram you can use this one extremely low memory it will help you a lot if you don't have a lot of ram uh, the last one is the uh, no sky effect. This one can give you like 7% of increase in your FPS. But honestly, this one, just use the first one and change the parameter as uh, I will show you. And uh, you can change a lot of different stuff also in the uh, config files. So just use the first one. So now let's go in the options. So now inside of the game. So first of all, make sure that you're playing in full screen. Really important, you will lose 2-3% to in your FPS if you're playing borderless or window. Resolution really depends on your monitor. Me, I'm playing 1080p, so uh, not a huge deal. But again, after all the change I will show you, if you still don't get your 60, you will probably need to lower your resolution. For resolution scale, I'm playing at max 100%, so one for one. So in this game, you can't, you can't upscale, but you can uh, downscale if you want. Uh, yes, you will increase your FPS, but the image quality will decrease a lot. So just go with full like this. Do all the change I will show you. If at the end you still don't get your 60, you can probably lower your resolution scale. So first of all, wall type buffer and post processing. Make sure those those one at are at medium. You can gain 2% for each bracket, so not a huge deal. But view distance and anti-aliasing are kind of big deal in this game. So the view distance one, you can gain 4% for each bracket. So go with something with medium. If you have a low-end PC, go with low. Anti-aliasing, I'm not a fan of low. You will see a lot of aliasing in the game. So play something with medium or high. Uh, general shadow, really, really important. General shadow, Terran shadow, and all those shadow options over there. Make sure that everything is unchecked. Uh, you can gain honestly 40 to 45 percent increase if you remove and lower your shadow in this game So really really important to do that Texture I'm playing at epic uh, if you have 4 gig and more of VRAM go with epic 3 gig at I If you have 2 gig medium and if you have less than 2 gig of VRAM go with low uh, sky quality, I did a comparison maximum versus uh, the minimum and you can gain like 8% so that's kind of a huge deal. So go with something like this. You will have a nice sky and you will not lose too much FPS. Ground clutter, ground clutter distance and the last one. This one is really important. Also mesh level of detail. Like don't go crazy with that one quarter of the bar something like that. Uh, but again, a lot of uh, it impacts a lot your FPS. So don't go crazy. For everything else, just uncheck everything. It will gain like 8 to 9% of increase also in your FPS. So just uncheck everything, press apply. Now we will go in the config file. To find your config file, you need to go where you install your Steam or more just like your game. So Steam, Steam apps, common, arc, shooter game, save, config, and Windows Note Editor. Open the game user setting, scroll down. You need to find effect quality, true sky quality, and ground clutter quality. Uh, you need to put one over there for each of one of the, these uh, options. Uh, by default, it there will be at three, and uh, if you do that, you can gain more FPS with the sky and the effect, and even with the ground clutter. So you can gain like something like five to six percent. So a nice addition that you can do over there. After that, press save and press X. 
Make sure that you click properties on the file and put the file in read-only mode. You want to block the file. You don't want the game to override the setting that you just changed. So really important to do this. So that's about it for the guide, guys. If you have any questions, just come in the YouTube section. Post me your rigs, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.